Planning your database deployment can be complicated. Keeping your database running smoothly can be even more complicated. Luckily, Linode has excellent tools for managing and scaling your database project. Let's dive in. Greetings and welcome back to Linode. My name is Veronica and I am a system administrator, Linux mom, and Linode developer advocate. Today, I'd like to talk with you about building a database plan and executing that plan using Galera for MySQL and MariaDB. When developers build out an application, they typically start with a plan. If you build a lot of applications or are working on a complex project, you might start using or building a reference architecture. What is reference architecture? Reference architectures are reusable technical diagrams that incorporate common design principles and industry best practices for implementing solutions. Reference architectures help developers, managers, and architects visualize complex database projects. This can help everyone on the team anticipate and answer questions as you build out your product. Regardless of the size and scope of your project, it's important to start with a plan. Map out your diagram. Where are your databases hosted? What language stack are you using? What network are your devices in? Writing this out gives you the opportunity to identify future problems in your application. For example, in a traditional, simple web application, we usually have the application and database separated into different compute instances. So, my basic reference architecture would look like so, an application on one instance connecting with a database on another. This is a good start, but let's consider how it scales up. What happens if our application gets hit with more traffic than we can handle in one go? Let's say, for example, it's a web store and we get swamped with orders when we launch a new product. How do we keep that database from locking up? Here, we've looked at our plan, or reference architecture, and see we have a potential point of failure. The database is hosted on just one instance. Having our production database on a single instance can be a bit of a problem. Luckily, there's a free and open source solution to this problem, Galera. Galera is a high availability database cluster technology. A high availability database cluster lets your database run on multiple machines at the same time, improving redundancy and reducing downtime. Galera is a particularly awesome example of this technology. If you're using MySQL, MariaDB, or related databases, Galera can be a powerful tool to help your application database stay running smoothly. Now, Galera differs from some replication clusters due to its multi-primary architecture. What that means, in short, is that your application can read and write to any node in the cluster. In some other database clusters, this might not be the case. Multi-primary architecture makes Galera particularly well-suited for high-availability application deployments. Galera also deploys certification-based synchronous replication to guarantee ACID compliance and automatic node provisioning to bring new nodes into the cluster. In short, it's magnificent. Now, an element to keep in mind with Galera is that it only supports the typical InnoDB engine. It does not support MyISAM, so if your application requires that engine, Galera is not for you. In addition, your tables and logic may need some tweaking in order to take advantage of Galera cluster. That's beyond the scope of this video, but make sure to check the docs to learn more at linode.com slash docs. So now, as we're building out our reference architecture diagram, let's replace that single database instance with a simple Galera cluster. Implementing this on Linode benefits from the power of Linode's VLAN, floating IP, and Cloud Firewall. And speaking of Linode's awesome product line, make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date on all of the latest features we offer. Anyway, in our reference architecture, let's rebuild this application diagram, and this time, let's draw a box to represent a Linode VLAN for our Galera cluster. A Linode VLAN lets your Linodes communicate with each other securely over their own private network. 
We can also put these behind a cloud firewall to restrict access from outside the VLAN. Next, we'll want the nodes of the Galera cluster to share a floating IP address. This is important because if one of the Galera nodes fails, we want another to be able to take over serving requests to the application server. All the application server needs to know is the floating IP, and that's pretty neat. Last, let's add in our Galera boxes. Galera handles the replication on the server level, and the Linode VLAN and Cloud Firewall isolate that traffic from the public. Super neat! Now we have a database layer that's considered highly available. Our planned cluster is now much more resilient than a single production database instance would be. Taking a look at our diagram, there's another layer here which could be improved. The application layer. Of course, Linode has powerful tools here as well, in the form of Linode node balancers. If you'd like to learn more about Linode node balancers, one of the easiest ways is to dive into the docs and try it for yourself. And if you're new to Linode, guess what? There's a link in the description that will give you a $100 60-day credit for new Linode accounts. You can try out Galera, node balancers, VLANs, and more right from your browser. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome development content from your friends at Linode.